Did you just wake up? How long have you been in those clothes? You sound just like mom. Is that why you've been ignoring her calls? Can we just change the subject? Can you please pick up the phone for once? Okay. So, you still haven't sent me your resume. <laughs> Great transition. Look, you were very clear with me that you didn't want to talk about, you know what? So my options here are kind of limited. Okay. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a bitch, okay? I just, I'm a little overwhelmed. So try not to do it all alone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Local community hero? I mean, who makes up this shit? This headline could have read really differently. And because of you, that little girl got to go home. What if we, what if we get out of town j just for a few days and let this whole thing blow over? You're being irrational. Just because you don't have a job doesn't mean I can leave mine whenever you need me. I gotta go. I'll be back in a couple of days. You just got here. Sorry, it's on my way to work. Okay. Have I love you. I love you.
sure, whatever. Josh, are you busy right now? I can't believe they got you taking all these. Why not? You don't think I need them? It's me. Don't do that. Okay, fine. These are for my anxiety. These are some bullshit overpriced antidepressant. Do I look antidepressed to you? These are for sleep and these are because why not? Pump the crazy girl full of bed. Surely it's not gonna hurt anything, right? So you're just gonna joke your way through this? How else am I supposed to react to it? I don't know, maybe take this shit serious? Because it is. Maybe show some gratitude. That food you ate, those pills you need, I picked those up because my best friend needed me. Because if no one else cares about her, I do. I'm sorry they forgot the extra cheese. Whatever. You probably just forgot to order it. <laughs> Maybe I did. What you gonna do about it? Asshole. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 Far a bit.
Do you hear me? Just come over when you can, please. Are you sure? It's gotta be late. I don't care. You, you can spend the night. I just... I, I, don't, I don't think that I should be alone anymore. What does that mean? Charlie, what does that mean? Nothing. I just... I just want to spend some time with my sister, okay? And... You haven't been answering your phone or coming over like you said you would, so... Calm down and stop putting words in my mouth. I'll be there after work. I love you. I love you too. I'll see you soon. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just tired. Come on, Allie, I'm not stupid. Okay. You're not gonna like it. I also don't like it when you keep things from me, so. Mom and I were thinking you should try Seeing a therapist. So the two of you have been talking behind my back. Why do you always make something out of nothing? No one is out to get you, so you can stop being so damn paranoid. Well, don't give me a good reason to be. It was Mom's idea. She said if you were here, you would get defensive, walk out, we'd never hear from you. This Mom knows me so much better than she knows herself. Don't make this about Mom. You always do this, and I'm sick of it. What? Tell the truth? Mom's batshit fucking insane. You're unbelievable. Do you know that? All you do is use people and dismiss them. Excuse me? You want the truth? Well, here it is. I come over here when you beg me to. You have Josh do all the errands you're too afraid to do, and all because of what? You're a little psycho? Shit. You know I didn't mean that. Yeah, you did. The truth always hurts, right? I'm, I'm sorry, okay, can we, can we just pretend this didn't happen? I'm trying to be supportive here, but I don't know how to do that when you keep pushing me away.
sorry for what happened last night. I, I take full responsibility for the way that went down. In fact, I'm ready to take full responsibility for everything and take matters into my own hands. So, please call me back. I just want to see you again. I love you. Last night, EMS responded to a possible overdose at 835 Bishop Avenue. Upon arriving on the scene, first responders tried to revive 26-year-old Charlie Bennett. Now, Bennett, just a week prior, had been labeled the hero of the community for throwing herself in harm's way to save a little girl from Our being run over. Of the day, first responders found Charlie Bennett unconscious in her bed in what appears to be a suicide attempt. Police found pills and alcohol at her bedside. Bennett was part of a continuing story that involved an eight-year-old child and an out control. And an eight-year-old little girl heartbroken. Police have reported that recently named local hero Charlie Bennett has taken her own life. More on this upsetting story right after the break. say it's necessary to stay inside the world is scary but i know how hard it can get when your mind don't treat you fairly because there's so much shit your heart is heavy and it is looking around for rid it because pitch black is all you see where's vin diesel when you need him darkness closing in blocking out the light of freedom your brain telling you that you're alone and no one cares if you're breathing <laughs> but that's not true i care about you you might not have a clue, but you're worth so fucking much, and this world would be empty if you were leaving. Just pick up the phone, is it for the dial tone? Call me up, call me up, you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone.